Jin here with a review on the Double Sentai Juu Jin Juo Cube Weapon Double Buso Cube Kimori. Yes, friends. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Right here it says Double Sentai Juu Jin right here. Right here it says Jewel Cube Weapon Double So Cube Kimori. Got a nice shot of Cube Kimori right here himself. And he does have a feature with uh, Tosai Juo, and he does become the uh, Kimori uh, Boomerang. On the top of the box, it does show you the feature he has with uh, Tosai Juo. On the bottom, we got a nice shot of the six Jewelers, uh, including uh, Jewel of the World. On the side of the box, we got the, the stats of Cube Kimori. And on the other side, the combos he does with the others, uh, such as uh, um, uh, Jewel King, uh, uh, Jewel Wild, and uh, Tosai. So Cube uh, Kimori Jewel. made his debut in episode 21 of Jewel Uger, and he is another numberless cube, uh, similar to uh, Cube Kirin, Cube Mogura, and Cube Kuma. Uh, Kimori means bat, of course, and he serves as Tosai Jewel's weapon. So take a look at the cube mode. I've said this in the past, of course. Nothing too spectacular. It's just a cube with either a number or a uh, explanation point or numberless. But uh, as you can see, the cube mode, uh, we're seeing a lot of navy, a lot of black, and of course, the white here. But uh, here's the front. You can see a lot of hinges. Here's all the hinges here, here, and here. And then if you turn it on the, on the side here, you can see got some clips here. And then on the back here, more hinges. And then on the other side, more clips. And on the top, you're seeing a little handle there. And then on the bottom. So like I said, nothing too spectacular about the Q modes. So. Okay, friends, now let's go ahead and transform Q Kimori from his cube mode to his doubles mode. And I'm going to say this, it is very easy. And there is a reason why you're seeing a lot of hinges in his cube mode. But let's go ahead and turn him this way. We're going to open him up like this. And as you can already see, there's the bat, the part of the bat there with the, his face. And then when you open up the rest of the wings here, you see the whole part of the bat. So uh, anyway, here he is. Uh, and as you can see, uh, in his doubles mode, he's got a little more color added, pretty much some white, red, and some nice gold right here. This gold looks really nice right here in this area here. Got more black here. And then uh, his little bat face is cute. <laughs> and then you got the red eyes there. But like I said, there's a reason why he has all these hinges in his cube mode. I mean, you can have him like this way. A usual bat pose. Or you can have... Uh, have uh, this way, well, mainly this way, have the uh, wing, the wings kind of partially closed, but all sorts of articulation, you can have them flying like this, something like that, but he looks absolutely nice, but uh, here, what he looks like in, the, uh, in his uh, back, pretty much, you can see pretty much of his cube, and then uh, in his doubles mode, so like I said, he is really, really cute, and he does stand really, really good. Uh, you can have him standing like this in the usual position, or you can have him like this way, but he doesn't fall over anything. Now the feature with uh, Tosai Juo and Cube Kimori, and so Cube Kimori can become a boomerang, and so... Pretty much, uh, this transformation is, of course, simple. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's no transformation anyway because he's already in his uh, bat, um, his uh, bat mode. So uh, anyway, we this little handle does come out, and of course, this is where uh, Tosai Jewel can hold. So we'll extend his hand out like this, and uh, here he is as a Kimori boomerang. And I'm gonna go ahead and get him up like this. But I did my measurements on this guy here, and. Uh, he is uh, six inches long. I mean, that is long right here. And I mean, he, he's a little long, long little weapon, boomerang. And he really does kick ass in the show. He literally does. Not only is he a feature for Tosai Jewel, but the other two. Like uh, Jewel King. A little bit kind of a weird position for him to have him like that. But anyway. So, yep. Jewel King, let's and see who Wild else. Jewel. Um, really and truly, uh, 
The Kimori Boomerang looks really good in all three um, Mecha's hands, mainly uh, Jewel, uh, um, Jewel King, uh, Tosai Jewel, and of course this one here. So I really can't complain. So. Alright friends, now it is time to go ahead and complete the transformation of Wild Tulsi King and pretty much adding this guy, Cube Kimori, in the mix here. So I uh, will go ahead and prep him up by just mainly closing up these little wings and that's it. Um, also friends, please uh, check out in the cards uh, the Cube Rhinos review. Uh, that pretty much shows you everything, you know, me putting all this together of Wild Tosai King. So mainly the majority of Wild Tosai King. And of course, this completing it right here. So let's go ahead and, and do it. So I uh, will raise up his arm here. As you can see, we got clips here designated for uh, Cube Kimori. So we'll go ahead and just snap him right here. Because I have been dying to complete this transformation. So uh, here we go. As you can see. Got Cube Kimori and uh, uh, Kumogira. And we got Cube Kirin and Cube Akuma. So. So here he is friends. Wild Tosai King. And I got to say. This has been a moment I have been waiting for. And so here he is. And as you can see, he is a nice looking mecha. I, I think it's the color scheme that's making this guy look so so good, you know. But um, anyway, uh, Wild Tosai King made his debut in episode 22 of Ju Ujur. And uh, of course, pretty much it's, you know, uh, Jewel King, Jewel Wild, and uh, Tosai Jewel, um, Cube Kirin, Cube Mogura, Cube Kimori, and Cube uh, Kuma. All together to become this mighty, mighty mecha. So you're talking about 13 uh, cubes into one big, mighty mecha here. He looks absolutely nice. I mean, I do like this this way. You can see the numbers of the cubes for Cube Eagle, Cube Shark, Cube Lion, Cube Elephant, and Cube Tiger. One, two, three, four, five, you know. And, you know, the color scheme on uh, uh, Tosai Jewel is really nice. Also, you know, the, the gold, the silver and the black really nice but anyway take a look at this guy here he looks really good here uh, I'm gonna take the uh, head off for a second here so you guys can see his face a little bit better here so yeah you can see the uh, the head is all nice and detailed here you know got some red here some white and you know the the eyes are green so really nice so yeah he looks really good and the one cool thing I like about Wild Tosai King is he is chock loaded with weapons. I mean, you have a boomerang, a drill, an axe, um, a bazooka, a big wild cannon, and a big king sword. So, I mean, he is loaded with weapons. Loaded with well, weapons. Um, I'm going to turn him around the back here. And so, here's what he looks like in the back here. Of course, um, I don't like this part of uh, Q Kimori sticking out like that. But what can you do? But so far, I can't complain anymore. Um, I can't help but harp about this uh, mecha because he looks absolutely nice. Um, and, you know, just having all these into one big mecha, outstanding. Outstanding. So. Why did the king well, friends, my final thoughts on Cube Kimori. I cannot complain. I think he is absolutely cute. I know I probably said cute so many times in this review about Cube Kimori, but he is absolutely cute. And I love his color scheme. That navy, the black, the gold, the red, the uh, and the white. Absolutely nice. And I do like the feature he does with uh, Tosai Juo. And, of course, not only he can be a weapon to... Uh, Tosai Jewel, but Jewel King and Jewel Wild, which I showed you early on in this review. So, so yes, yeah, so far I'm enjoying the Juju toy line, and I cannot wait to see what else they got um, more to provide for us. So I cannot wait to get more mechas, in other words. I know there's Cube Condor and Cube Whale coming, so cannot wait, friends. Cannot wait. And so, in, in a way, friends, I do highly recommend this guy. So, good luck to all you guys out there, because uh, basically... I'm already enjoying him, and he stand, like I said, he stands so well. So, in other words, good luck, and uh, happy hunting. But uh, anyway, uh, friends, uh, that is a finished review. Please check out my blog, follow me on Twitter, and to like my Facebook. 
And if you like this review, uh, please smack that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And friends, it's a review on the Double Sentai Juju Jewel Cube Weapon Double Pusso Cube Kimori. I hope you enjoy. Well, friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. And it'll be a good day. And friends, almost assuredly, see you next time. Bye.